Howdy, I'm Mason. And I'm Emery. Emery, did you know that Mr. Weens of Seaman High School won Secondary Teacher of the Year? You aren't very observant, are you? Uh, wh what do you mean? I mean, I did like a whole story on it. Alright, well, I guess we'll watch it then. Mr. Weens, Red Team English teacher, has been announced USD 345 Secondary Teacher of the Year. We asked him what it meant to have received this award. Well, in and of itself, um, I don't feel like I uh, stick out necessarily amongst all the really good teachers uh, that we have. It's a privilege to be nominated and I think more than anything it really showed me um, how much our school and community care about the teachers and the education that goes on um, in our building and our district because I, I could not have felt more supported. Mr. Kennett, another red team teacher, feels that Mr. Weens is deserving of his nomination. He um, is very engaging. He does a lot of different activities in his class. He gets to know his students very well. He gets them out of their seats and involved uh, and is, is passionate about the curriculum as well as his students. Mr. Weens feels very humbled that his colleagues nominated him for this award. We asked him how he thinks he benefits his students. You know, sometimes it's uh, taking a minute to, to listen to a kid who's having a rough day or to recognize somebody that maybe is a little bit under, underserved, underrecognized. And sometimes it's just, you know, a kid that does everything right and patting them on the back and acknowledging they, they, that's what they do. They do that every day. And, man, there's so many of those kids in this building. It just, just makes me really, um, really feel lucky to come to work here. We consulted with one of his students about how she feels about Mr. Ween's teaching. I think he deserves this award because he's an amazing teacher. He knows what he's talking about. He, he reminds me of all of, of my most amazing teachers I've ever had. He's really laid back. He's nice to the students, even the ones who are a mess and need help, more help than others. He's understanding and he doesn't want to control a situation, but if he has to, he knows how. Make sure to congratulate Mr. Weens when you see him. Wow, that's a pretty cool award, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's time for the news now. Viking Brew applications are due today. Turn them into evalu turn the teach their teacher evaluation form into Mrs. Averill in W3. Today is the last day to order a senior woman's t-shirt. Pay the bank and bring your seat to Reagan Bond. There is a poetry slam. It's on Tuesday, October 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. NHS is conducting a coin drive during the Seaman versus Washburn Rural football game at Washburn Rural tonight. International Thespian Society Troop 2001 is hosting a canned food drive sponsored by Trick or Treat so kids can eat. During seminar, donations will be accepted through October 31st. Fishing Club is headed to the State Fishing Lake on October 20th and October 26th. Pay your $10 due to SHS Bank for more information contacting Mr. Wilson. The Haunted Trail is tonight. Let's hear more about it with Kaylee. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Hayden Wells and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Haunted Trail. What do you do? I am fundraiser for IT and so my big project is the Haunted Trail. So I basically set up the different uh, sections that we have during the trail and uh, who all's in each section and what we do for each section, stuff like that. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, well, the Haunted Trail is on October 19th. It's a Friday. Um, come out. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we can scare you. All right, thank you. The Kids Trail is from 4 to 6, and the Adult Trail is from 7 to 10. Kids Trail is $4, and Adult Trail is $6. If you bring a canned food donation, you will receive $1 off. Let's head to Mason for the sports. <laughs> This Friday, October 19th, the Haunted Trail will be taking place at Seaman High School on the Carolina Roscoe Trail. The Kids Trail is from 4 to 6 and costs $4. The Adult Trail is from 7 to 10 and costs $6. They will be collecting canned foods for the Topeka Rescue Mission, so to get a dollar off of your admission price, bring some canned foods with you.
National Thespian Society is hosting Trick or Treat so kids can eat. The event lasts all October, and the winning seminar gets a pizza party. The final freshman and JV football games are Monday. Come support your up-and-coming athletes at tailgate beforehand. Fun begins at 4.15 for the freshman game and again at 6 p.m. for the JV match. There will be a boys' swim team meeting Wednesday, October 24th. Freshmen at 10.50 in seminar and sophomores through seniors after school. Both meetings will take place in room 911. Last call for anyone interested in signing up for wrestling. Please see Coach Kelly in C3 by dismissal today if you have not already gotten an information packet. The theme for tonight's football game is breast cancer awareness, so show up and wear pink. Now let's see what Josh has dialed up for the weekend. Good afternoon to you. It was a somewhat wet start to the day, but through 10 a.m. we have only received two hundredths of an inch, which is not very much at all and shouldn't change that drought monitor I showed you yesterday much either. We should see maybe another hundredth of an inch through the remainder of the morning at the time of recording this video, but overall conditions should improve throughout the rest of the day. And then we are watching Sunday morning for the potential of another freeze. Lows look to make it back down into the lower 30s, so get ready. We could be dealing with a frost Sunday morning. And on your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that the weekend is now trending warmer with some new data that is coming into the SVTV Weather Center. Now we're looking at lower 60s for both days this weekend. Of course, the football game tonight, if you're heading out to Washburn Rule, temperatures will be falling quickly back into the lower 40s. And then our next rain chance looks to hold off until the middle of next week. Now, back to your anchors. Well, that's it for today, Vikes. Make sure you go to the football game tonight. We'll leave you with another edition of Common Knowledge. Is pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit. Vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. A fruit? It is a fruit. A vegetable. Probably a vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. I'd go vegetable. Yeah, seeds. Seeds yeah, is a good point. All right. They're a gourd. Your, your question is false. They're a gourd. It's a different category. I grow from the ground. They're a vegetable. No, they grow above ground. I reject your classification. Yes. It's a gourd. A it's a totally yes. different thing. Above ground? The pumpkins grow above they the grow ground. They grow on a vine. <laughs> Fruit. Fruit, because it has seeds. And I don't know. Yeah. Can you name the colors on candy corn from the smallest part to the largest part? Well, the smallest part is white and then yellow and then orange. Mm. Yellow, white, orange? No. There's yellow with it? Orange, yeah. white, yellow. I thought, no. No, no yellow, there's yellow, yellow in it. Yellow, white, Smallest orange. to biggest. It's yellow, yellow white, white, orange. Oh, okay. yeah. yellow. White, orange, yellow, brown. Mm. Orange is the biggest, the base. Yeah. Orange, yellow, white. There's only three colors. Orange, orange yellow, white. Mm. Biggest to smallest. <laughs> he said smallest. from the point in, I, to the top. So white, orange, yellow. I yeah. eat them so fast yeah. that I've never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> white, yellow, orange. White. Orange, yellow. Yes. Okay. Isn't it orange, white, yellow? Mm. But like white at the I tip, think it's top. Yellow, I think white, orange. Mm. I don't know, actually. White, yellow, orange. Mm. No. Smallest is. That's I don't know. Candy corn. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> candy corn. Candy corn. Candy corn. Here's some information. Why? White, orange, yellow. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. Yellow, white, orange. Mm. Orange, white, orange. Mm. Who do Charlie Brown and Linus wait for every Halloween in the pumpkin patch? The Great Pumpkin, and he never shows up ever. The Halloween. Great the Great Pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I just watched that. Isn't it like the pumpkin guy, like the scary guy, the big pumpkin? Mm hmm. I never saw it. Snoopy. Mm -hmm. Snoopy? <laughs> no, it's something scary, and they're like, wait, I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I know have no this. idea. The big pump, big, big something, maybe. I don't know. What is it? The Great Pumpkin. That's yeah. it! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Good job. Right. Snoopy. The dog. Um, the Great Pumpkin, right? Correct. The Great Pumpkin. Yes. 
Now, on what day is Halloween? 31st. August 31st. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was a You said August 31st. It's on a Wednesday October this month. 31st. Thank you. The 31st. Correct. October 31st. The 31st. The last day of the is, month. Yeah. <laughs> 31st? Yes. October 31st. 31st, yeah. yeah. 31st. Hello. Friday. No, I was looking Until for a number. <laughs> the 28th. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>